play. But alongside me, I have Longshot Creative Director Mike Young, and you might recognize this gentleman here from Friday Night Lights, but also Colt Cruz in yes. Longshot. Guys, welcome. Thank you. I'm in a Madden game. <laughs> I'm in a Madden game. Yes. I never thought it was possible. <laughs> Woo! You made it happen. <laughs> Yeah, guys, this is this is a, a really exciting time, and I know especially for you, four years in the making of this this process to get to this day, uh, and, and really some of the main questions that we're we're focusing on here is the story of Longshot. It's yeah. it's a football story that you can play. Yeah. Uh, you know, what does that really represent, and, and why is it such a totally different experience to the to the Madden franchise? Well, what we went about was really making the first campaign mode in a sports game. So we treated it more like that. It's an interactive movie that you're playing. So it's a totally different format than we've seen in other sports games when they've done story. And uh, I think people are going to be blown away by how emotional it is, how much off the field there is to do and play. And uh, the performances, the cinematography, it really does feel like this seamless movie versus a career mode with story scenes. And that's the future of gaming, really. I mean, every year Madden's going to push the envelope to be the authority on football as far as gaming goes with graphics and with new ways and techniques that you can play it. But storytelling is the future. Yeah. Storytelling is where it's at. And the fact that you are getting a movie basically in Madden that has great actors and NFL Hall of Famers all wanting to be a part of it, then you know you got something special. And he's, Mike did a bang up job, man. You know, and I, you say there about storytelling, right? A little later on, we're gonna bring on some game changers. We're gonna bring oh, on some, some YouTube. Hey! <laughs> no way. <laughs> what are you guys talking? No way. You guys having a con little conversation? Yeah. That was not planned. Anything no. can happen on National Live uh, Internet, I swear. J.R. Lemon, one of the stars, Devin wow. Wade. Wow. Devin in the flesh. The long shot himself. Thank you for having me. Can I shake your hand? Amazing. Can I shake yours? Yeah. Hi. Wow. Nice to meet you. This is a guy moment. This is a bro <laughs> this moment. This is. Right it is. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I've been watching you a lot on, on virtually a lot, so this is oh, fantastic right on, to see man. you. Yeah. So pleasure. Wow. Things changed. Okay. Uh, so we were actually just talking about the uh, the power of story, how it's affecting not just uh, just entertainment in general, but moving forward to the gaming industry. And uh, yeah. for you, what, what was the the story like for Longshot? What was that emotion about for you? Well, you know, I, I always call it like, Mike. A, yeah. I always call it the orphan. Oh, give him a mic, give him a mic, get in there. Oh, get in the little <laughs> mic. You know, I always call it, the, uh, we'll just get a little closer anyway. I always want to meet him. I call it the orphan story. Um, you had this guy you. who was an innocent, who experienced <laughs> something like extremely traumatic. He became an orphan, he wanted to sort of start to look inside and sort of, he wanted to hide. He goes, goes to the military. And the compelling thing about the story is, is watching him find his warrior again. Watching him find his way out of that darkness and sort of into confidence again. I think any compelling story has those components. So that's what the story said to me, if that makes any sense. It does, my guy, my guy. Let's get one of these right here. Oh, <laughs> selfie mode, selfie mode. Appreciate that. No, but now we're sidetracked, but again, listen. Well, a good sidetrack. A good sidetrack, fantastic sidetrack. Uh, so for, for you though now, Mike, for the core Mad community, a lot of what Scott had said there, it, it is about story, it is about yeah. emotion. What can the core Madden community expect comes to the emotion in the story of Longshot? Well, I think there's two things. You want to feel like you're part of a real NFL world. So they're going to be at the Combine, a playable Combine. We haven't had that since like Madden 06 or something. So there's real authentic experiences here. Um, you've got, you actually feel like you're hanging out with Dan Marino. Hall of Famer That's Dan cool. Marino feels like he is a mentor, a big brother to the Devin character. I think. When you embody Devin, you feel like you have a relationship, not just this entourage-style cameo, but on top of that, you just care about these characters. Devin and Colt feel like real friends that have a really big range. It's not just this surface-level friendship, but you know, you're know you gonna have this big range of emotion, humor, um, fights, a lot of conflict driving you in the story, and I think people are gonna relate to it because it's a story about getting to the NFL, not trying to have people relate to these mega star things that are almost unrelatable. Like so few people get to that spot in their life. But this story I think is so relatable because it's really just about dreams and pursuit of dreams and the two characters have different, per I think not that's to, what's gonna shine. Not to put you on the spot, but you guys are friends, right? You guys yeah. Okay, we, good, good. Yes. Okay, good. We good, have become confirm. friends. We didn't know when we started <laughs> yeah, on this journey. Each other, yeah. But man, uh, we've been there for each other. You know, it's, it's tough. He works at Albuquerque half the year. I'm in New York City all yeah. the time, but yeah, we've become boys, man. That's we bonded awesome. over Chick-fil-A. We bonded over Chick-fil-A, 100%.
You like In-N-Out? Not In-N-Out, no. Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. I like In-N-Out. Spicy South, baby. It's pretty good. It's, <laughs> it's really good. Get it on there, it's fantastic. Uh, so, speaking of the next question we have here, uh, what was it like working with Hollywood talent like this right here? Well, it's amazing. You have a dream and you start the story and it's just a piece of paper. Well, several hundred pieces of paper. I've seen all of them, I can confirm that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but coming to the set and working and like developing these characters, it's so collaborative and they're so talented. And I think when we were together, um, they just made these people real. And uh, it's just so fun to work with great people who care. And the collaboration was uh, really what made it special. Like we could, you know, talk through scenes and talk about why they're feeling the way they are. And they're just so talented. And I think it's gonna be, some of the best acting you'll see in video games all year uh, from these two gentlemen. Well, I think I think from our side too, like you created an environment that really supported that. I felt like we felt really comfortable just creating and playing and knowing that you would listen if we had ideas or anything like that. And yeah. I mean, collaborating, what, two, three years down the line, just throughout the process yeah. with the script and yeah. just thoughts, seeing those ideas show up in the script. So, I mean, that says that does something itself you know we talk about the work i got a phone call four years ago and i think one of the smartest things that mike did was say i, I want good actors but i want good actors who are also have either played football or are huge fans of football so we can just get that all on the side there's no technical stuff that jr and i had to learn uh, i played football in high school and college jr played football in high school and college we understand uh and and up into the nfl too and uh and we understand yes. <laughs> minutes. Minutes. <laughs> Five <NFL>. minutes. <laughs> but we understand the game, so we're able to put all that aside and not even worry about all that. All that language is not foreign to us, which allowed us just to really hone in yeah. on just the relationship that you have it here. Had to and, be authentic. Yeah. So and then you get an Oscar practice. winner, Mahershala Ali, who says, you yeah, know what, I want happens. to be a part of your right. game. Right. That's how you know, world, that this script is legit. Yeah. Yeah. Mahershala Ali is in our game. It's yeah. crazy. That was surreal. Yeah. Um, like, okay. I remember when he walked on not set, bad. people were like, yeah, yeah. not bad. Yeah. Like, this not bad. <laughs> this not, all right. yeah, it was him and Dan Marino there the same day. You've got an NFL Hall of Famer who wants right. to be a part of this, and you've got an Oscar winner who want to be a part of this. And that just speaks volumes to how, how it plays on both sides of the fence. That was the first day of shooting, so I was so nervous walking into there. Like, <laughs> it's so limited with time when you're shooting these things. Yeah. And you have a half a day with Mahersha Ali with kids, so kids make it so much more complicated because they're just having fun and there's a football on set and they're trying to break the lights. Uh, but Classic kids, just right? talking Classic. smack like they do. Like, <laughs> if, if it was going to blow up, it was going to blow up on day one. Yeah. The most expensive. Day. Well, I'm glad it, it didn't. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. fantastic. But, you know, it, it's for you, Scott. Um, you know, obviously Friday Night Lights, that's where people will see you and recognize you from, from uh, numerous other things as well. Right. Uh, but what was the experience, how does it compare to what you did on Friday Night Lights to what you did with Longshot? You know, I've never worked on a project that had as many parallels for me to Friday Night Lights. I've worked on a bunch of other stuff, but nothing had that kind of grounded, small, conversational storytelling that Friday Night Lights had throughout the rest of my career and so kind of until long shots. I mean, to be honest with you, you know, there was so much collaboration and when I was on Friday Night Lights, I felt like I had ownership of that show because they empowered, empowered us to do this. And JR said this earlier, but while doing long shot, we also felt very empowered to be a part of the storytelling. We weren't just puppets for words that somebody was very precious with on the page. Mike had brilliant ideas and lovely dialogue, but then also was, was malleable and wanted to just, we all wanted the same thing, which is to have the greatest story. And that's what we did on Friday Night Lights. I always say it's tough to catch lightning in a bottle twice, but I, I think that we might have done it with this. I've already done it with Friday Night Lights. And at the heart of Friday Night Lights, it's about interpersonal relationships, about friendships. Like with Jason Street and Riggins, they're, Tragedy changes their relationship. The same thing happens with, uh, with Devin and with Colt. Tragedy really kind of changes and adjusts their relationship and it's how they rebound from it that is the beauty of this story. And it's how they overcome, and adversity is used way too much in sports, but when you find out what they both go through, it's true adversity. It's not losing a game. It's, it's losing a part of your life and how they join together and forge their friendship going forward and, and, and push each other to try and achieve the biggest accomplishment they ever could heading towards the NFL draft. It, it's just a wonderful, beautiful story and storytelling is where it's at. Just like Friday Night Lights, Longshot does the same thing. And I think that's, you asked the question about how it's relatable. I think that's what it is. It's not really, it's not just a story about football. It's a story that all of us have been through in some capacity. Yeah. Trying to overcome with people that we love. 
um, and trying to you know jump over obstacles. It's the human story, right? It's I mean, it's something story. that we all exactly. go through. We're all trying to accomplish different things, accomplish different goals. How do we get there? The ebb and flow of all that. And I mean, that's what I'm taking from what you're saying. But well, both yeah. of you are we willing? Are we willing? When we're most down, are we willing to look in the mirror and and face that and do something about it? Essentially, I mean, yeah. in the trailer, awesome. you have that moment yeah. where. Uh, Devin's, you know, walking towards the window, looking at Lucas Oil. You know, are you, are we gonna, are we gonna be strong enough to actually get up off the couch, look in the mirror, and take action? Now, be honest, Jr. When you're watching yourself in that scene, are you looking at Lucas Oil? Or are you just, are you just looking at your reflection in the hotel window? I know what you're looking at, Jr. I know what you. You see what I'm dealing you're with? You're so right, this man. Is, this is what, I, this is what I mean. This is what I'm dealing with every day. <laughs> That's fantastic. I mean, I gotta know. Have you guys ever played a game of Madden against each other on on, on the other sticks? No, he doesn't want to get on. He doesn't. Because really here's the thing. Here's he the doesn't want to get on yeah, against you. Hey, he doesn't sticks. want it. I picked up the sticks in a while, yo. Yeah. Here's what I've heard. This guy really only took the role just so he could get free mutt packs. Yo, this is true. This is 100% true. I went to high school with one of the producers on Madden, and I've been hitting him up for years. Like, Did hey, he really? can I get some? Yeah. Hey, can I get some coin? Can I get some coin in game coin here? He's like, ah, oh, my hands are tired, man. My hands are tired. I'm like, I know they're not, but now yeah. you got no excuse. No excuse. <laughs> I know somebody I got, shows I, I, up with a full I, I, on a team got. overall rating of 99. You're gonna be like, oh, that guy. He's even that's gonna have Porter. A he got, he got, you know, 28 billion credits and has all Ruby. You just heard that right there from from Mike Young. He's gonna have his own mud card. That's gonna be yeah. fantastic. Cole oh, Cruz. I get my own mud card? Yeah. Wait, Cole Cruz is gonna be a man on the team? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Be ready to play with a cruise missile, baby. All right, now it's coming. Guys, it's time to bring in the game changer. Awesome. It's time to bring in our YouTubers. We have uh, Anto the Boss and yep. we have I Mavic. They're going to ask the tough questions. I just gave the layups, I just gave right. you the easy ones. Okay. These guys are going to ask the tough ones. All right. All right. So let's bring let's them in. Anto, I Mav, come on in, guys. Yeah. What's going so, on, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing? How, you doing? How are you? Good to see you. Games? Gentlemen, gentlemen. Yes, what's up, bro? Good to see you. Oh, what a time to be alive. <laughs> all right, we have a nice wide set here. That's that's we have a, we could basically start our own team right here yeah. almost, right? But, right. All right. Anto, Mav, take it away. Well, I saw the trailer. I noticed a lot of familiar faces, and I wanted to ask Mike, uh, what other stars did you work with when creating Long Shot? Well, we mentioned earlier Mahershala Ali. That was pretty insane. Um, you know, it was before he won the Academy Award. Uh, what was cool about the role at the time is I think we were mostly familiar with him being this like tough military guy and things like Hunger Games or you know a tough character and yeah. like House of Cards but we got to bring him in and he's playing this father and he and I think everyone on set that day was like I wish he was my dad you know he was so warm with the children and it was a way up until he obviously Moonlight he plays a father figure yeah, a but before, right we hadn't seen that yet yeah so it felt like wow we're seeing a different side of him and it was so amazing uh, we had the Dan Marinos, the Chad Ochocincos. Wow. Those days were super fun. Everybody was geeked out. Um, yeah, Chad Johnson took everyone to sushi at the afterwards. end of the day. Wow. He was like, who wants to go with me to get sushi? Like, what? There's a 40-person crew awesome. standing around. We're like, what, all of us? He's like, yep. Film legend Barry Corbin. I mean, there's just yeah, yeah, that was a good so many people and so many stories from set. It was uh, incredible. I think people will love the cast because it feels grand. I think a lot of the gaming stories feel small, like not very many characters, not many sets, but I think this is an epic story with an epic amount of places you see, epic amount of cast, all just so much variety to it. Uh, women, children, 80-year-olds, 8-year-olds, so it's really cool. That's awesome. It's fantastic. Nice. Mav, nice. your turn. So I guess my question would probably be for the stars here, all right? Oh, that's it. <laughs> uh, no. Look at Step up. Step up. <laughs> so I know it was a, a four-year process, right, putting together Long Shot. What would you say was the biggest challenge for you guys? Oh, man. Tough ones. Waiting. Making them think, yeah. Waiting. Yeah. To get a phone call from Mike four years ago, say, hey, we want to make this game in Madden, and we'd love for you to be a part of it, and then not hearing another word from <laughs> anyone for, like, nine months, and I'm just like, do, 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 do. Right. This is, did he is change his happening? number? <laughs> I get a text bag. He's like, sorry, who, new phone, who this? <laughs> I'm just like, am I still a part of this thing anymore? And then two years ago, we end up in Vancouver for just a week, just, just JR and I. And, and I walk in, and I'm like, they've already got all this footage of other people playing our roles, uh -huh. like stunt yeah, guys yeah. and stuff. They had done like some test footage. I'm like, I got recast again? Right. And then I couldn't make it down to Orlando. I was shooting something in New York. 
And then there's a table read in Orlando, and some guy texts me, because I went to high school and college in Orlando, and I knew this cat. He texts me, he's like, yo, I'm at this table read. And I was like, they cast me again! They cast me again! It was just like the waiting, I'd say, was okay. like my biggest problem was like, because it's it, it takes even double the time of a movie or a TV show. Like sometimes you'll shoot a movie or a show, and you know next year it's coming out. But with the game, the, the cycle to build this thing from the ground up takes so long, and okay. it, it was just shifting my brain uh, that way. I mean, Guys, the you, oh, sorry. But yeah, Scott mentioned the four years ago. He was the first person to verbally commit to this thing, which was great because I got to make the script him. You know, think about his specific talents, his personality, and really custom the role. For Scott and okay. having somebody like Scott commit early was definitely a lot of confidence that this thing could be real and people were excited by it, by it and then we went on the long journey of trying to get a green lid and all that. Okay. Oh, so, man. so my, mine isn't as deep at all. <laughs> uh, my biggest hurdle was getting over this doggone camera that you have in your face, oh. right? Like, so we were having arguments and like we forget this camera's there and we just like clashing the camera. <laughs> and every time every time it clacks, like we gotta start over. Yeah. And, like, and every yeah. time you gotta start over, you gotta do Yeah, yeah you gotta do the T-pose and Okay. That was my biggest one. Okay. Just like the have you ever seen like the motion capture shoot where they I have, have. The thing and the dots all over yeah, your face? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't put your hand in front of your face. You might wanna wipe your nose. Can't right. wipe your nose. Wipe your nose. So it's more I have takes a than you're used to doing. Yeah, yeah like if you so. want your character to, to rub his eye in the scene, you gotta do this. <laughs> yeah, you like <laughs> you gotta like reach, but not actually touch your face. Exactly. It's like okay. so strange. Okay. So that was one of mine. Yeah, we got really close because yeah. we spent we spent in effect you know six weeks together in wetsuits with each other. For real, it was just me and him. Hey, in it was some some man moments. Some shiny, <laughs> some shiny, <laughs> shiny balls all over ourselves in right, right. uh, yeah. face makeup that looked like we were a cat's reject. Tight, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you made it fun. Way more challenging. What, what's amazing about the cast is that they are in the same white. Wall, white wall room every day with these suits. They don't have costumes, they don't have props. They, it's all in their mind. Mm. And these performances are so believable and natural. And I'm just so proud of what these guys did. And it, I think with those cameras and how unnatural it is to have 40 people staring at you and then these weird outfits and right. all these rules on addition to just being present in the acting, uh, I'm just blown away by them. Yeah. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> I think we all just had a moment. I, I think no. I feel like we're all friends, like closer. Without I'm excited the suit. about it. Yeah. Hug this one out. Yeah. If we can hug it out, we'll hug it out. But the same emotion you'll find in Long Shot. Yeah. Hey. I got a question for you guys though. Are you excited about Long Shot? I am excited. I am. It's like Definitely. the first time we've seen something like this. So I think a lot of fans are gonna be excited as well to play it. Nice, nice. Right, nice. yeah, it's, it's a new experience to Madden. So yeah. I feel like we're gonna reach a whole new audience, bring a lot of new people in. Uh, and hopefully that carries over to the, the other modes as well. You, you know, the crazy thing is about that is uh, a lot of guys like you, you YouTubers and uh, that create content online, you guys would, would like fake your own, making your own story mode. Right. Right. And, but now you got one. Now we got now it. Now you got one, right? Now we and got so now it. Now you actually have a true authentic story. Exactly. A lot goes to these guys. There's a lot of guys behind the scenes that you got to give a shout out to as well. But, you know, it, overall great experience. I, I got two things for you, though. Oh, yeah. I, he's got I, I one. do have one thing to say. I just got one thing to say. And it's important for everybody out there. When you see this and you know that Devin is a character that you're gonna play, not everybody's Devin is gonna be the same. And it's important that we get the point across. Everybody's gonna be able to play Devin differently. There's branching dialogue, there's different choices. The outcome of this game, you think everybody's gonna get drafted? That ain't the case, man. Not necessarily. That ain't the case. <laughs> So everybody's gonna have a different path with Devin. It's not just, oh, I gotta play as Devin and, and Colt. No, no, no. You play Devin how you want to play Devin. You play Colt how, how you wanna play Colt. That's, that's, that's it. So you still have all of that opportunity to, to make your own choices. Right. It's fantastic stuff, guys. I, I appreciate all of you for, for Scott, Mav, Mike, JR, Anto. I appreciate it. I got one request, and okay. you're gonna have to help me make it happen. All right. We have to find the behind the scenes of them smacking into each other with oh, the. We gotta get them in the wetsuits. I gotta see it because we're gonna put all that online. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna find a way to do it. Okay. We're gonna I'm find a way. Expose them. <laughs> we'll make sure you look good. Don't you worry. Yeah, let's get one. Let's get oh, one. Let's get oh, one. Let's do this. Another one here for the for the fans. Get it. Oh. All right. This right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on video. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, for a guy First who's never seeing himself in pictures, <laughs> he takes a while. Yeah. There we go. Nice. nice. All right, guys, that is going to do it for Long Shot Madden NFL 18, a story mode Ooh. you can play. 
and right now we're going to kick it over to the other football game. A little, uh, little football. A little football. Send football. it. Football. <laughs> football. 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 football.